So hello again guys and today we're gonna do a comparison between the new GE Viscan Air and the Butterfly IQ Plus. We have recorded the same images with the same patient with these two devices and now you're gonna see them at the same time side to side so you can judge by yourself. So in one side of the screen you'll have the Butterfly IQ Plus and in the other side of the screen you have the Viscan Air images. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did recording it and I think that you'll be able to obtain your own conclusions and to form your own opinion. I could say A or B but the most important thing is that you see the images and you decide by yourself. So while you're seeing these images let me tell you about some features that make these devices unique. So the first thing I want to mention is that the butterfly has more modes than the G Viscan Air, such as the M mode or Pulse Wave Doppler, and it also has some tools to calculate automatically the left ventricular ejection fraction or the bladder volume, and it also has a new system to insert needles called Needle Vis to allow in-plane and out-of-plane approaches, so it's the longitudinal and transverse axis. Apart from that, this video hasn't been sponsored by none of these companies, so this will be an impartial approach. And I want to add that this is a first comparison and the images may not be the optimal, but I think they're pretty comparable. So let's get to the images. So here you can see the cardiac parasternal long axis and as you can see the B mode is one of the strong points of the V scan. Here you will see a parasternal short axis and you can see that the image has more definition in the V scan side than the butterfly IQ side. Here you can see the subcostal and it's the same, the pericardial definition, endocardium borders are better in the V-scan. Here you can see that the inferior vena cava, the, the definition of the V-scan is higher again. And now we, this is a bad point for the V-scan and it's the cardiac Doppler. As you can see the butterfly is superior here. Then the liver kidney interface, the Morrison's pouch is pretty similar between them. And I think maybe the V scan is a little bit higher, but judge by yourself. And here the butterfly IQ has a, this tool to calculate the bladder volume with the true axis, and the V scan has only B mode. Here you can see that both Dopplers are pretty much the same. And here I want to show you that the butterfly IQ has M mode and this is a carotid uh, image and this is a heart image and the V-scan has only V mode. This is a transverse carotid color doppler and you can see that both are pretty similar. And this is the same with a linear doppler. Now uh, this is to show you that the butterfly you has pulse wave Doppler as you can see here and the Viscan doesn't have it. And in most Coloskeletar both are pretty similar. Maybe the Viscan is a little bit sharper but I'm not sure. And this is the radial artery color Doppler. So both Doppler sensitivities worse just at the same level and this is a bonus that the butterfly IQ has this extra mode which is power doppler that may be useful to detect arthritis okay so now that we've seen how they perform in a clinical setting let's talk about pricing and here you can see in this table that you can have a butterfly IQ for $2,999 in the case of United States or 2,849 euros in the case of Europe with a lifelong subscription which is the only option available for the Viscan. So you can, you can have a Viscan Air for $4,495 in the case of the United States or 3,990 euros in the case of Europe. And I want to mention that these prices are without taxes so your real price will vary depending on the country you're living in. And now, to wrap up, we're going to discuss the features in which each device is better. And to start, we have to talk about price. So, 
price is really obvious, Butterfly IQ is cheaper than the Viscan. So if money is a limitation in your case, this has to be considered. Following, we have modes, and Butterfly again has more imaging modes than Viscan. So it has M mode, pulse wave Doppler, power Doppler, and some tools to calculate the left ventricle ejection fraction, bladder volume, and needle vis that the Viscan doesn't have. Third, we have the image quality, and here I think, and this is my opinion, that the Viscan Air has better image quality than Butterfly IQ. So if image quality is relevant for your usage, then the Viscan Air may be better. Fourth, we have the battery duration, and Butterfly IQ has better battery duration than Viscan Air, both in exam time and in total battery time. Although the Viscan can recharge the full battery in less than an hour, whereas the Butterfly IQ lasts 2 to 3 hours. And five, we have the weight. And the Viscan Air wins because it weighs two thirds of the Butterfly IQ and it's easier to balance in, in the other pocket. Apart from that, it is worth noting that the Viscan Air is wireless and it has a smaller footprint which may be useful for interventional procedures but on the other hand the butterfly IQ has the needle vis mode as you'll be seeing in this image and this, this can also be a great help. So if you ask me Alex who's the winner overall I would say it depends. It's a formal tie. It's not easy to pick a winner since each of these devices are better in some aspects. So as again, again it, price is a limitation you should choose the butterfly IQ but if you want better image quality this is, it's not a huge huge difference but it's slightly better you should choose the Viscan Air. So thank you all for watching this review I hope you enjoyed it and here you can see our socials in case you want to follow us. So that's all for now bye!